the Child's Play too, right? There's nothing. There's no you know, part. Sub title. Well, to it. it's it's. I don't know what they call it. A tagline. It's like, sorry, Jack, oh, Chucky's right. back. Yeah. But because it's, it came out the same year as Batman and Jack Nicholson's performance. Oh no no no, Jack the. the oh, the Jack. Out of the, oh, that's right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this came out in a uh, year after. It just came out in '90. Yeah. Jack, I can't remember what the hell that thing Jack was. Jack in the Box. Oh, Jack in the Box, right. yeah. God, there was this huge, well, I should say it on the review. I'll, I'll save it. Okay. A couple seconds. Hi, we're the Huge Movie Fanatics here to continue our Child's Play Chucky review franchise. Uh, we're going to go with Child's Play 2, which suffers from sequelitis, where it has nothing really good to offer outside of what you've seen in the first movie. Uh, the kills in this are bloodier, they're more disturbing, um, more intricate in detail, but I think this is the one where the teacher gets killed and he's like walking up to her with the ruler. Yeah, they, the only thing that really improved with this movie is animatronic Chucky, where they, they actually had like this thing where from the front you could see him totally walking because they had like yeah. a thing, you know, if, yeah. you, if you lined up the camera right, the thing yeah. going back in a closet would be not visible. So the, the only things that really improved was just the animal yeah. Chucky shit. This one is the most, uh, in a sense, disposable movie of the franchise. Um, what? Uh, <laughs> like it's, oh my god. It is uh, virtually nothing redeeming about this movie. I hate that like Andy's been taken away from the parents and staying with random other people and like who are sort of well, kind of related. Yeah, didn't, her, didn't they have her mom having gone crazy or something? Yeah, and, and it's just like, like you, just don't. Just, just write about a different family or something. Yeah. Um, especially when you like bond so much with those characters in the first movie. Uh, and the cop would never let Andy just go like that, I don't feel. <laughs> um, so anyway, uh, like right from the beginning, that's a, a screw you moment. Um, there's nothing interesting in the movie up until the final ten minutes. Once they go to the Child's Play Factory where all the good guy dolls are being made and stuff, that's where the movie gets cool, that's where the movie gets interesting, that's where it gets exciting, and they do full Terminator on us, where it's oh, like... that's right. That stuff is great. That's, that scene is four stars. Everything else in the movie is virtually zero stars, so I give the movie one star. It is a oh. nothing movie. Uh, if I never see it again, I'd be happy. So, all pass right. it off to... Alright, well I saw this in the theater because it's like... Child's Play 2. I remember, well this is 1990 and I was suffering severely from OCD, like hardcore, and I remember being worried, like almost like had a stomachache, like, because I loved the first one, I remember being worried, oh is it going to be any good? I was, god I was a mess in 1990. <laughs> but I remember being like, oh, I hope this is good, like the world depended on Child's Play 2 being good, and it's just like, doesn't, that the, the world didn't repent. <laughs> good, luckily, it didn't depend on <laughs> yeah. the theater. But anyway, I, you know, I can I saw it in the theater, and I can be remember being very over or underwhelmed. I mean, I liked. I wasn't as picky as I am now because I was younger. I was thirteen, but I liked the. Uh, you know, I did like because I'm a fan of both movie. Well, not so much visual effects now, but back in the analog days, I was a big fan of visual effects, and in animatronic practical effects and stuff. So I, I was interested to see just. Chucky and what they could do with the animatronic doll and that kind of stuff. So I was interested in that. Um, for me, it's probably, again, because of just the sentiment, was probably two and a half stars because of the sentimentality of it. Just because you, when you see something with when you're a kid, you kind of, that it just, it imprints that yeah. for the rest of your life. So I remember thinking that, you know, that girl who was just staying at the place was kind of, kind of cute. Yeah, she was attractive. It's hard to believe that <laughs> the same writer of the first movie wrote this one as well. Because there's something? nothing creative about this movie up until the ending, which is a rebuff of the Terminator. So really, there's nothing all that creative about the movie. I'm trying to think of how Chucky even came back. I mean, they they re it, oh, they, 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 want, the they wanted to reconstruct to figure out why uh, this thing malfunctioned. Uh, <laughs> so, like, and made people believe, like they thought oh. it was something with the voice box or something like that, <laughs> and it got electricity flowing through it, which revived it after they refurbished the, the yeah. whole look of the thing. As you go on and on, it becomes more and more just like contrived to how he comes back. Yeah, I mean, it was cool effects and everything in the beginning, but it was just the movie is like the worst example, like a fantastic example of slasher sequels at their worst, where it's like. 
this movie made money. We gotta quick make another one because we gotta we gotta capitalize. Well, this is still hot. This is Saw all over again. This is uh, Paranormal Activity, Friday the Thirteenth, Halloween, Nightmare on Elm Street. Like this is all Texas Chainsaw. Texas Chainsaw. Like this is Final Destination. <laughs> Final Destination. This is a classic example <laughs> of. Uh, horror movie horseshit, <laughs> I guess. Yeah, yeah it's, I, looking back on it, it's really not all that great. I can remember there's so many of this, like, I was really kind of like, I still like it now because I like really wide fisheye stuff, but there's yeah. a lot of that fisheye. Yeah. Isn't that weird? Just for, like, no reason. Yeah, and, like, love them or hate the other movies, um, they, they at least had something creative about them that separated them from... The, any of the other movies, this one doesn't. This one is something where you can take Chucky out and put in a different character and it doesn't change the movie. Uh, like, you could make this Friday the 13th if you wanted to, or Halloween. Whereas, like, Child's Play 3, Bride of Chucky, Seed, and then Curse of, there's all <laughs> something creative or interesting about each one of those other installments. Whether or not they are successful in their creativity, <laughs> is a completely separate thing, but that's what, uh, why this movie sort of stinks so bad, at least in my opinion. Alright, maybe we'll just save some time and leave it at that. How many, is one star? One star. Two and, and a half, half, just because whatever, you know. Child's Play 2, sorry Jack, Chucky's back. Oh, what I was going to say is there, when it came out on video, there was this huge, and I had one, actually I had two of them, because I'd go to video stores and they put all just their posters and standees that they didn't use or had already used, you know, they give them away. And I, there was this huge Child's Play 2 standee, which was huge. It was the, you put it together and it was the, you know, actual box. Because you know the cover of Child's yeah. Play 2. It was the cover, except 3D. I mean, you actually put the yellow box together. There would be a coil thing yeah. that the, 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 the cardboard head of the jack-in-the-box would yeah. be on. And Chucky, it, it was a, you know one-dimensional cardboard thing, but, you know, it was slanted with the scissors and everything. Yeah. Unbelievable. Probably if you cool. searched online, if I can find a picture for it, I'll put it over while I describe yeah, it. That's really cool. Um, and it was like, you know, the whole thing was like this tall. I was just like, I, I went to, it was called Video King, I think, a mom and pop video store, and I was able to get one in the box unopened, so I, you know, yeah. completely unused. So I come home and put up this, uh those were the days, man. Yeah. Standies. People now don't even know what the fuck. Well, they're in the, the theaters. The theater does. I'm they're in the stone. theaters, yeah. but I'm, I was just going to say they're not in the video stores. Well, they're not! They're not yeah. No video stores. It's hard to get those at Redbox. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll put a standee in front of the freaking box. Thanks a lot for watching, and we'll catch you on Child's Play 3 Review. Boo.